Hey guys, there's some crazy information that has just surfaced from an ancient Indian temple. Look at this arch. See anything strange here? What are these strange things carved all around the arch? Flowers, more flowers, and a lot more flowers. And you can say, Praveen, it is an arch. It is supposed to be decorated with flowers. What is so crazy about this? No, these are not flowers. Each one is a lunar station. Now, what is a lunar station? Is that a satellite or a spacecraft? No, if you take the sky and split it into 27 sectors, you will see 27 groups of stars. A group of stars in any sector is called a lunar station known as nakshatra in India. I'm not guessing this, by the way. Let me zoom in. You'll see those letters in Tamil language. It says Anusham, also called Anuradha. This is the 17th lunar station, according to ancient Indian astronomy. Let me zoom into this one. This says Magam or Maga. Again, this is also a lunar station. This is called Regulus in modern astronomy. But if you look at Regulus or Maga with your naked eye, it will look like one star. But if you use a telescope, and only if you use a telescope, you can understand that it's actually made of four stars, Regulus A, B, C, and D. But see how accurately it has been carved with four stars or four flowers in this arch. And many of the stars shown here in these 27 lunar stations cannot be seen with your naked eyes and you need a telescope. So how did ancient boulders know this without the use of telescope? Now, this arch is made of pure silver, so we cannot precisely date how old this is, but there are stone carvings in the same temple of Thiruperundurai which also shows this detail. And this is evidence that ancient Indian astronomy was very advanced. But no one knows such advanced scientific information is hidden in these arches. Why? Because you can never capture this on camera. And you will not see this anywhere else outside of my channel. Why? Because this is not an ordinary arch. This is a Thiruvasi. Now, what is a Thiruvasi? Thiruvasi is the arch that is fixed around the main deity in the main chamber of a temple. Not all arches are Thiruvasi. This is a sacred arch and nobody is allowed to film inside the main chambers of Hindu temples. Even very large Hindu temples will have only one main chamber and it's forbidden to take photos and videos inside. So you cannot film these Thiruvasi arches and study the details on them. But how did I manage to do it? On rare occasions, temple authorities clean this arch. Notice that it's made of pure silver and the metal darkens gradually. So authorities have brought this outside and have just cleaned it. Of course, in this picture, since they're cleaning it, they placed it propped up on a pillar. It is still placed outside, which is why I'm able to show you this fantastic detail. Otherwise, nobody can go into this main chamber and study what is carved on this arch. And if you see from the outside, it looks very captivating. See the main deity in the middle? And around it, there are lamps making up a divine arch. You can see above the flowers, there are these small lamp holders, and there are 27 lamps. Nobody would have even counted the number of lamps because nobody has time for this, and nobody would have guessed that each lamp is symbolic of a lunar station or nakshatra. That includes you because you did not count this either. There are not 
27 lamps here. There are a total of 28. Yes, there is one extra here. It does not fit in. And notice it does not have any stars or flowers on it. And now immediately you will be taken aback and think, why did Praveen mislead me? Are these not nakshatras? No, these are 27 nakshatras or lunar stations, but there is a 28th nakshatra that nobody talks about in today's Indian astronomy and astrology. The 28th lunar station called Abhijit was used during ancient times, but today it is rarely used or even known. Abhijit is the Sanskrit name for Vega, a very bright star in night sky, and it's the only male lunar mansion. All the other names like Maga and Anuradha we saw before are all female, but Abhijit is the only male nakshatra. To understand why, you need to learn advanced astronomy. So remember, there is a lot of hidden information still hidden even in this one arch. Don't count the number of flames and try to understand why. Remember, secret symbols are hidden everywhere. If one arch in one temple has such advanced scientific information, imagine how much of ancient knowledge is hidden in thousands of ancient temples built all over India. So next time, if you enter the main chamber of an ancient temple, don't just close your eyes and pray to the deity. Remember to also open your eyes and pay attention to the Thiruvasi. I hope you liked this video. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.